Welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and this is a video to show you how to add or remove gadgets on your Windows 7 desktop. Uh, one of the nice features of Windows 7 and it started in Windows Vista actually is the um, possibility to add gadgets to your desktop. And there's a number of cool little gadgets that are very useful that you can add to your desktop on Windows 7 that will improve your user experience, give you information you need all of the time visible on your desktop. So how do you access the gadgets in Windows 7? All you have to do is right click anywhere on the desktop and just go into gadgets. There you'll see a list of gadgets um, that are available in Windows 7. Um, the calendar, the clock, there's a CPU meter, a currency exchange rate uh, app, uh, feed headlines if you have RSS feeds, uh, there's a picture puzzle, slideshow of your pictures will show in a small slideshow on the screen, there's a weather app and a Windows Media app. So um, the, the basic ones that I actually enjoy a lot uh, is the calendar, so all you have to do is just click on it, hold and slide it off to your screen and you'll see that everything slides off and remains on the screen. So the three basic ones that I think are really nice are um, the calendar, the clock, and the weather. And if you want to customize them, well, all you have to do is just go with your uh, mouse pointer on the app and you'll see that there's this little uh, tool here that you can click and go into options. For example, I want to have the weather for uh, my location in Montreal. So Montreal, Quebec, Canada and then you click OK and it will give you the weather as it's like and of course you can change it here's in Fahrenheit you can change that to Celsius here we go and so you can customize the clock there's different types of clocks if you look at the options you'll see eight different clocks available to put on your desktop this one's nice let's put it here and there's the uh, calendar that if you click on it you actually will have um, the full calendar month and you actually can go into different months and see what the dates are and what day they go on and if you double click anywhere out of a number um, you can view that day and you can of course go back and we'll go back here and click on today's date and have it back you notice that when I click on a date that's not today's date everything's in white and when you click on the date, uh, the today's date, it's in orange. So these are probably the three basic gadgets that I find really, really nice. Um, if you're a tech savvy guy, want to learn what's happening with your computer, one of the things you can use is the CPU meter. CPU meter will actually give you information on the usage of memory, of CPU, and uh, basically give you information on the performance of your machine uh, so you can put that app you also have if you are um, someone that buys a lot on the web and buys from different countries you buy on eBay for example I do buy a lot on eBay currency app is pretty nice you just put it on the screen and uh, all you have to do is select the currency uh, that you want to use so all you have to do is uh, select here on the left side the countries that you want to have the exchange rate from and it's going to give you all that information right there in the app. This is a cool app. If you buy on eBay, you'll always know the exchange rate between um, your currency and uh, US dollar, for example. Um, that's pretty cool. There's the uh, slideshow and um, that gives you a miniature slideshow of all your pics uh, that's available. Uh, it's of limited use because it's really small pictures. And one word of caution by using uh, gadgets is that the more gadgets you put on your screen, the slower your computer can be. Don't forget that gadgets are really small programs that are actually running while you're doing something else. So uh, don't forget about that. 
Another thing that's cool about gadgets is the fact that you can drag them anywhere on the screen. So you can put your calendar in one corner, put your clock in another, uh, put the weather maybe on top or in the middle, wherever you want it. Everything is going to be there. So it's pretty cool. And um, I think this is uh, nice. Some apps actually have the possibility to get bigger. For example, you can have your full calendar and the date uh, viewed together. On the weather app, you can have it bigger and click and you'll have not only the day, what's the, the weather like now, but you'll have the forecast for the next few days. So uh, it's interesting. Um, it's, they're cool little apps that actually are added to your computer. And um, gadgets are very nice and I actually use them a lot. Most of my machines have these gadgets uh, right there on the desktop in Windows 7, um, especially these three. The weather, the calendar, and the clock are just so important. So if you enjoy our video, well, uh, click the subscribe button and you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Um, if you have a um, video that you'd like us to do about a feature in Windows 7, let us know. You'll be helping yourself, but you'll be helping others, and uh, we'll be glad to do a video and help you in any way we can. And uh, hopefully, uh, you enjoy our channel, and we'll come back and watch our videos on the official Windows 7 channel. Bye-bye.